Hello. I hope you can hear me. I'm just creating a little intro to CryEngine 3, the, the new version, just so that my friends who might want to try this um, get them started if they want to know what to do. So I'm going to create a new level. I'll call it in 3 And when it creates this, it's just going to create basically some C. Um, it's probably going to run a bit slow. I'm just going to, okay, I'll just default that. Okay. And it's going to run a bit slow because I'm trying to record this at the same time. I'll just select default. If I right click on my mouse, I can move around and I can see there's the sea. So I want to create some land. So I'm going to select terrain. Now this may not necessarily be the right way of doing it, but it's a way of doing it. So I'm going to select rise and lower. I'm going to click enable noise. I'm going to select the brush size. I'm going to drag that in there. We should see up here it's starting to create some land. And just draw what you want in there. Just left click on your mouse and just drag where you want and create something in there. And I'm just going to modify that. And I'm just going to smooth the slopes. And if I go into modify, so if I go to tools, I can then put some texture on that. Let's click on that. And we should make it skillful terrain. Yep, and I've got high simple view, thank you. And let's make it what should we make the rocky? Forest ground, open glass. You can make this whatever you want. I'll make it grass. Sign the material. Oops, something like that. Right. And now, if I go into if I go into layer painter, I should actually start painting that on there. And I'm going to press my right mouse. And I'm just going to head up in the sky, head up towards the sun. And I'm pressing W at the same time here. And now what I'm going to do is right click my mouse, just drag down, and you'll, you'll see I've moved right, right away from the land. And I just want to get rid of these black lines. So I'm going to put my mouse up quite large. And it's just a quick way of just getting that material of texture onto your land. Now I'm going to press W. And I'm just going to press again. The other thing I'm going to do on that now is I'm going to go to environment and environment, go on the right, go on entity. And now I've got the environment. I'm going to make that slow. Texture. Let's click on that. Material. Let's go to rain. Let's make that a lot quick. 
the sign off. Give me all the sign the material. And there we go. We've now got we've now got some green rocks on there. Now, as I said, I just want to go and paint the deep and I want to make that snow. So this time we've now got snow. Now, if I double click on this icon here, we should be able to increase the snowfall up to say 500. Now, I'll make the snowflake size probably a bit bigger. And now, if I go again. So, I've now started to create some land and I've started to create some snow. So, I'll just press escape. And what we'll do this time, we'll go to the bush, click on the objects, and let's go to natural. And this time we'll select trees. And let's have a pine tree. A large snow pine tree. So I left click on that, drag it in there, and there we go. We've got a pine tree. And I can move it where I want on the landscape. So I just left click and hold it there. Go the game, switch to game. There it is. Let's also add this time we'll add a building, some different structures. Add a building. Let's add a forest cabin. I don't want a door, I want a forest cabin. So I left click and I'll put that there. And I'll just move up where I want. And if you go in the game. Now the other thing I want to do is you can actually go to environment. So I beg your pardon. I'll go to vegetation and I'll select new and I'll select those snowy trees. And I'll just come down. Make some changes to the parameters. Let's make it let's vary the size. Okay, let's align it to the terrain, select it, and we'll just paint a few at a time. Paint objects. And now when I paint on there, I can paint these where I want. Okay. Wheel. Oh, I killed myself there. Press escape. So I'll see if we don't get to slide this again. Now, the only other thing I'm quite fancy doing is this sky looks a bit bland. So I'm going to go into the environment. I'll put the texture, let's put the texture. Let's add a new texture. Change this to sky. Okay. Scroll down here. Skies. Okay. I want to get these sort of clouds in there if I can.
Okay. Yes, I'm not. Now, if I get the environment, and I get the skybox, and if I click that, you can now see I've actually got some clouds in my sky. So it's really that quick just to get you up and running and start to create some environments where you can actually play with, with these things. So hopefully you found that just of some use. Thank you for watching.